Hi, Niraj. Welcome to the AWS Enterprise video series. Hi, Milkar. Nice to see you. So this afternoon, we're going to be talking about total cost of ownership, TCO. And we would like you to share some of your expertise and insights with the audience watching. Absolutely. So one of the things when we, when we engage with our customers and talk to them about total cost of ownership, it's really emphasizing the total cost of ownership. In particular, what I mean by that is if you go to the AWS website, you can find out pricing. Um, of, our, of our services. It's all publicly available. But on the on-premise side, it's a much more difficult calculation. In particular, you have a server, but then in addition to that server, you have top of rack switches, you have your rack, and then you have server software, you also have space, power and cooling, and then you've got your software, you've got your network, and so as you really think about the total cost of ownership of an on-premise application, it can be really difficult to quantify that. Great, so there's a combination of people, processes, and um, activities that you can use to further reduce TCO. So are there any lessons or, or best practices that you would like to share with the audience? Absolutely, we do see this cost optimization as a discipline or as a practice. And so it's important to have a center of excellence that can help achieve this value. And so that's a combination of understanding when can I use reserved instances and elasticity, but also where can I use new technologies? Can I use serverless technologies, for example, like our AWS Lambda? Or can this workload, um, can it handle Amazon Spot and um, fault tolerant? And so there's lots of different mechanisms, and I think the key thing really is having a disciplined organization and program management office that can help to identify those cases to further reduce costs. Awesome, so this has been very insightful. Any last words of wisdom that you would like to share with the audience? Anything they really want to take home? I think the most important thing is to define what do you want to achieve by moving to the cloud. And instead of just defining it specifically, it's, it's really a matter of how do we measure the value? Is it cost? Is it also going to be around our staff productivity? Is it also around our service level agreements and security posture? Um, and what about agility? Are we improving the agility? And also specifically putting metrics around it. So how long does it take me to procure a server today? We found that that's a really good proxy for identifying agility benefits. Or how long does it take me to deploy from test to production today? Once you've identified where you're at today, identify where you want to be with AWS, and as you migrate, continually measure, monitor, improve based on those indicators of value. Great, this has been extremely insightful. Thank you, Neeraj, for your time, appreciate it. Thanks, Emil Kars, nice chatting.